Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Virgo. How are you guys? Hope you're well. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You can check those out. There may be a message there for you. Virgo. Virgo, a Virgo. What is the overall energy surrounding you? This could be your love life, friends, family, finance, career. Take it as it best resonates for you. Here we go, Virgo. Ah, finding balance. Someone is confronting, either confronting someone or facing their fears. There's some kind of confusion or mysteries. A little shadow work by the looks of things. This is all about balance, okay? Possibly between two people. But this is someone finding that balance in their life. So there's a need for this, I feel. Some of you may be a little concerned about that right now. You know, there's about something here. There's a... Uh, Definitely someone reaching out, sharing the love. There's some kind of crack here. So there's something that needs to be uh, healed, I feel. Yeah, and this is about observing, observing how you feel in a situation. This is an interesting energy, Virgo. I feel like there's someone here who maybe wanted to confront you or they're maybe having to face their fears, <laughs> finding some kind of balance between two. So there's a healing energy. Somebody wants to reach out and share the love. Someone's got a... Uh, a little bit of a broken heart, possibly, or a little fear of something. It doesn't have to be anything too heavy, but I feel there's something that needs to be observed. So this is someone who's observing themselves, okay? An energy of someone who's kind of, it's sort of stepping outside yourself as well, looking at yourself, looking at things from a different angle. It's about how you feel about a situation, okay? So let's see where this goes. Looking at things from every angle, seeing all the possibilities uh, of a possible healing. There's some kind of a confrontation. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Clear messages and guidance for Virgo regarding this overall energy. What is, oops, there we go. I'll take those. Yeah, so there is definitely Ace of Swords energy. There's some kind of an epiphany, new ideas, some kind of truth. And then we have the world. There's something evolving and changing. Uh, somebody could be coming around. Uh, there's some kind of change. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There you are. Could be yourself or another person. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. So I feel as though there's something evolving here. And I feel there's definitely this focus on finance, career, focused on self. Want somebody looking out for themselves. It's about making plans, planning a future, and letting things evolve naturally. There's something uh, here about that. So there's a truth, all right? This is uh, a new idea. You could be creating something. It could be evolving. You may need to confront a few fears to do with it when it comes to your finance. Or there's somebody that is wanting to confront you or vice versa. All right, Virgo. There we go. Uh, we have someone here. Yeah, Someone's definitely lacking that balance. Uh, someone a little bit younger, maybe. See where that goes. Yeah, so be careful what you wish for energy. Somebody here, I feel, is kind of focused on themselves. This is someone who just kind of wants everything their way. Uh, they offer one cup and nothing more. So they're... If someone comes around, there may be no change here. So just be a little cautious, okay? Someone here is focused on themselves. But it's also uh, a feeling of enthusiasm, you know, but being a little cautious, careful what you wish for. Uh, there's definitely two people involved here, uh, two people in that energy. Be careful what they wish for. So someone who only offers one cup, but this is possibility of a wish come true. So there could be someone who's focused on their money, career, finances, or you could be creating something new, or you could have a new person that you want to confront. <laughs> you may have fears that this person, you know, they could be younger than you, vice versa. That could be a possibility. Uh, there's that choice. Yeah, there's a little bit of confusion, maybe some fantasizing. Uh, there's a decision that needs to be made. This is making a choice. Stop procrastinating and overanalyze and get the clarity of what you desire and move forward. Too many options or addictions. So a little cautious. Someone may be, you know, confronting something, confronting themselves, yourself. Take it as it resonates. Someone may be drinking a little too much. Maybe they're focused on that. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to... 
if you know who this person is, but I feel, you know, mostly I feel like there's something positive. Someone's about to make a choice to stop procrastinating. There's a person here. There is some enthusiasm. Or there's something in, you know, there's some kind of optimism, but with that little bit of caution. So there is something to do with work. This could be a person you work with. You could be focused more on your work, something creative. You may be building something. But I feel like it's sort of a, there's some kind of balance here that needs to be taken. Maybe somebody was a little off balance, drinking too much, uh, unable to make a choice. There may have been a lot of confusion. Maybe somebody here offered one cup. They had other options. So uh, there could be a, a, something that needs to be worked out here. But somebody is working on something. Uh, I feel like you're focused on your work. There's something evolving here. Uh, some new ideas, something creative. It could be you, like I say, or another person. Yeah, so there's definitely some... Um, Somebody wants to reach out. They kind of have one foot in the door. <laughs> so somebody romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and sometimes fickle. It's also falling in love or being swept on your off your feet. A sudden love affair. So there is a lack of balance in a relationship. Yeah, someone's got one foot in the door and out. They're not really putting a lot of effort in. So be careful what you wish for. Okay, someone's a little focused on self here. Now, this is someone who likes to be indulged. Okay, they may indulge a little too much, a little too much drinking, or someone's procrastinating. They may have other options. So... You may have a little bit of fear. Maybe you want to confront this person. There's something you may not be comfortable with. Okay, could be you or another person as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Little Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that enthusiastic, fiery, passionate, creative. Uh, but sometimes uh, somebody who's very much focused on themselves. This is someone who doesn't always finish what they start. <laughs> You know, because there, there's just something to do with indulgence here. Someone with one foot in the door and out, they don't really put a lot of work into it. So some of you, I think, are focused on your work and creative pursuits. You may be changing your focus, trying not to focus on someone, okay, and uh, just concentrating on work. But someone here is not putting in the effort. That's that one foot in the door and out. But I think somebody wants to reach out. So observe how this person approaches you is what I feel. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise, choosing another path. Some of you may be going off in another direction. You may have somebody else who's reaching out. This is generally a courting card. Uh, I'm hoping somebody here wants to make something work uh, for your benefit, that there is some kind of cooperation. This is about compatibility, making a choice whether someone's compatible, whether you have things in common. Somebody may not be sure because uh, they are a little fickle, okay? Yes, look at that energy. So observe this, okay? It's about how you feel when this person approaches. Uh, do you feel safe and secure? Do you feel this person stable? Uh, do you feel like this is worth working on is what I feel. So continue to work. This is someone who's perfecting their craft as well. So that could be yourself. I feel there's definitely this share of the love. There's two threes here. There may have been a third party. Someone may have been keeping something to themselves, offering you one cup, one foot in the door and out, okay? Mm. Tell me about the Ace of Swords energy for Virgo. Why is this here? Two cards. Yeah, so there is generally this walking away. So there is a kind of a truth. Some of you are moving towards emotional fulfillment. There's something changing and evolving. This is a brilliant success. This is a time of joyful accomplishment, spiritual enlightenment, uh, and freedom to do what you want. Be proud of yourself. So if you've been working on something and confronting some fears, uh, could be to do with work, family, you know, anything. Uh, you should be proud of yourself for the work, okay? So I like this energy. Yeah, so I feel there's some happy news, a reason to celebrate, something really positive, moving towards... Uh, walking away from something, seeing the truth, maybe an epiphany, okay? But it could be new ideas. Uh, it could be something in your community, something growing. You may be uh, celebrating with friends and family. So there is definitely something positive coming out of this. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Is someone generous, practical, gracious? 
um, materialistic, someone who likes to have a nice home, uh, they like to dress nice, things like that. But you know, everyone has their own level. So I don't like to really label the Queen of Pentacles as someone who, <laughs> it makes the Queen of Pentacles sound, sound like somebody who, uh, it's definitely someone who's focused on their finances. This is someone who likes the creature comforts, but they also sometimes like things simple. So we have that sensible approach to a situation. Uh, somebody very practical. This is someone who loves beautiful things and art, things like that. Someone who's not afraid to work for those things either. And then we have, yeah, so there's some kind of a communication. It could be a date, an offer. I feel like somebody may be reaching out. You're going to look at this offer. You're going to look at it very carefully. You're going to focus on this. There may be something here that somebody maybe wants to talk to you to communicate. They may want to hook up with you. could be some an offer to go on a date. So it does, you may have to confront a few fears here. <laughs> Maybe somebody's concerned there will be some kind of confrontation as well. You may have to face a few fears, but I do see this shadow work, you know. So this is that moon, that confusion. There may be some kind of confusion. Things may not be clear. Uh, there could be someone who's kind of focused more on themselves, so be a little cautious of that. It's telling you to be practical, to be realistic. Tell me about the Page of Wands energy. Oops. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely working on something new, very creative. Some of you may not be sure. Like, is this, you know, you're going to take your time and be practical about this communication. This is an offer, a seed that you're holding, but it's small, okay? <laughs> something needs more work. Some of you are perfectionists as well. Whatever it is you're working on, it's something very detailed, and you want it to be perfect. So that's a nice energy. It could be you, like I said, or another person. So yeah, we have this energy of somebody who, this could be somebody you work with. They could be a little younger. Maybe they have a child. And I feel there's definitely someone perfecting their craft, working very hard. Uh, somebody wants some results. But this is about working on something that needs to be left behind. Uh, it's a message here about someone working on themselves, valuing themselves, releasing something. Focusing on self, I feel, for a positive outcome. So that, I feel sometimes people do need to focus on themselves. They Sometimes people have to uh, change their focus and focus on the things that are important to be able to move forward, to find that balance. And that's what I'm seeing here uh, with a star. Uh, somebody is reaching out. Uh, they want to, uh, this could be to do with work as well. You may be highly sought after. This is somebody who has that star energy. It's about value. It's about loving yourself first, releasing past baggage, and moving towards the future. So I do feel there is this possible wish come true uh, because I'm, I'm seeing this more positive now. And the reason being is the star is here is to release the baggage from the past, to let it go. It's going within, finding that balance. Look at how clear that is, okay, to heal, to reach for the stars, to get what you want. Beautiful. Tell me about the nine. Uh, yeah, so there is someone here who's not sure if something's right, if it's good for them. It's a healing. It's about reaching out. Someone may have reached out to somebody to work something out. There may have been rejection because somebody was unsure. Okay, it was that be careful what you wish for. There may have been a little bit of confusion. Someone may have been rejected because someone had other options. Wow. This is a, sometimes a missed opportunity where somebody missed an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Maybe they had too many options or they were procrastinating as well. So be careful on that procrastinating energy. It's saying to make a choice. Stop procrastinating and overanalyzing. Uh, get the clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options, addictions. Yeah, so it's going off on a new path. I like this. There you are. Yeah, you're contemplating something. You're on that journey. Um, definitely going within, looking for answers to make a choice to go off on a new path. It has to do, some of you may have other options. You may be looking for someone who's compatible, um, where there's you have things in common. So you can, this is two people who build each other up right there. It's tearing each other down. Someone may have reached out or you've reached out to someone and they rejected you, or vice versa. And I feel there is this, 
Yeah, I see an energy of two people. This is about valuing two people who value each other, look out for each other's best interests, right? Two people who put the effort and work together. It's teamwork, it's cooperation, it's compromise, compatibility. It may have been a third party, possibly, because I see a couple of threes and the seven of cups. I feel someone wasn't maybe sure, not sure if someone was compatible. So there's that soul searching journey. And I feel like you're on that journey. This is to a head over heart decision. It's a look at another card of balance, balancing those emotions, feelings, and making a balanced decision. Whether somebody brings balance into your life or not, you may be spending a lot of time alone just focusing on work your home, things like that, creative pursuits as well. This also could be a journey to do with your work and your finances, something you're working very hard on. You maybe have a new job offer, maybe thinking of going off on this path, maybe working in a team setting. But it's about that team player. It's about two people who cooperate and compromise to build each other up, not tear each other down, because that's what I feel has happened here. Someone reached out. It's like that, you know, they dangle the carrot and then you grab it and then they reject. Okay, so maybe that's led you on this journey of uh, whether someone's compatible or not, whether there's, you know, uh, if they're a team player. So it's about making a balanced decision. Very much head over heart because of this overanalyzing energy with the seven of cups. Yeah, this is about a fresh new start. A lot of emotion here. It's about finding that emotion, that balance between two people. Beautiful energy. Yeah, you may be looking at this energy, or it could be this other person. I see a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, two people who possibly are compatible. They may have, you both may have some things in common. But I feel there's some kind of change. Something is changing, okay, to do with, there's happy news, a reason to celebrate here. Uh, it could be a date, an offer. Someone may be changing their mind. Hard to say here, but I feel there's a person here, that Prince of Pentacles, someone who's more focused on their money. Okay, this is somebody who may be a little emotionally detached. You may have someone who you feel is a bit emotionally detached because they're not reaching out. You may feel like because of it, they have other options, other possibilities. So there may be some kind of confusion here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. So we definitely have some kind of a communication, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, somebody who's offering up one little cup. They don't really want to put a lot of work in. They're not sure it's going to work. Could be an apology or just, hey, do you want to get together and talk? It could be that simple. But I feel this energy is kind of evolving here. This is uh, where two people get to know each other. This is that dating. So there may be a few dates. You may have a few dates with somebody and then you're kind of not sure. There may be something you want to confront them about. Uh, you may feel like this person doesn't value you because you reach out to them and then they reject you. They ignore you. Okay, so you become unsure and it becomes a little emotionally draining as well. So it becomes too much work. But I feel someone's reaching out to talk. They could be just fishing for information as well. <laughs> the fish in the cup, someone who kind of tells a story about work, about something not working out or... Yeah, it's interesting energy. It could be someone who maybe needed to learn to love themselves first. Because uh, I feel there's this energy of someone who's coming in to talk, to communicate. They want to date, but be careful. They are a little fickle. So it's just a dating. This is a courting card. So this is an energy of uh, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. Are you compatible? The person reaches out to you. I do feel it could be an apology with this share the love. You see there's that crack. Uh, but this is about observing how you feel. Are you comfortable with this person? Uh, you know, that's where you need to kind of pull yourself away and look at the situation from different angle. Observe whether they're compatible, whether they... Because uh, this is an energy, too, of... I mean, it's work. You could be just... I feel like there's something romantic here. There may be two situations, too. You may have a new offer for a job. You may be going off on a new path and working in a team setting. You may not be sure. You may have one foot in the door and out, or you may feel like maybe it's too much work or it might not work out uh, as well. But I feel with this romantic energy, this uh, Knight of Cups is definitely someone who's courting, but it's also somebody who... <sighs> 
Somebody could be apologizing for not putting in more effort. You know, maybe more courting, more dating. Maybe this is somebody who's fishing for information about whether you're compatible or you're dating another person as well. It could be a little concern. Someone's a little apprehensive. Maybe they're worried about a confrontation. I don't see a confrontation. Um, it's definitely a need to cooperate. Maybe a little compromise. Tell me about this night. There we go. Three cards. Ah, yeah. So someone may not be telling the truth or holding back something, uh, telling you a story. It may not be the whole truth. They don't necessarily lie, but they're holding back. They're not telling you everything, okay? Mm, this is someone who swears to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth, but they don't because they don't actually have the clarity. So someone's shining a light on a situation. This is someone who needs to get out of their head, Somebody's holding back. They think too much. Yeah, there's that procrastination, overanalyzing, shining a light on a situation. So I feel this person's definitely holding something back. They got one foot in the door and out. It's also a sleep on it energy. If you get a message, take your time. Um, maybe you communicated to someone and it took them a long time to reach out. Maybe you felt ignored or rejected. You may have felt this person had other options, okay? So they're because there, there's this is an energy of creating confusion. So you all, everybody knows if something feels confusing, there's probably something that's not right. So make sure you get the truth. But I feel there's an energy of someone who's shining a light on a situation about healing, um, making things work. Somebody was maybe a little unsure of whether you were compatible, whether you were a team player. Uh, we have a Taurus energy. This is about the way someone conducts themselves, the way they behave. It's a spiritual path and a journey here. This is about somebody's morals, all right? This is about whether somebody is uh, possibly, I feel a, a third party. Uh, I feel someone who's in and out of a few relationships. But I feel there's some kind of change. And I feel it's an energy, just kind of go with the flow and kind of see what happens. Uh, watch out for gossip. You may have people gossiping, saying something. Um, okay, so you may know something here. But I feel for the most of you, it's just, just an energy of looking at things carefully, looking at the details very carefully with the communication. So to take, like I said, taking your time, maybe sleeping on it, uh, to do with someone's, the way they conduct themselves, the way they behave. Uh, are they faithful? Somebody may not have had a lot of faith in the situation. Maybe somebody wasn't faithful. Whether there was compatibility. Yeah. So there's definitely some kind of secret mystery here. Someone's keeping something to themselves. But it's saying to be very wise. Okay, Trust your intuition. Observe how you feel around this person. Does it feel right? Are you comfortable with this person or are you not? That's what you want to look at. Trust that those feelings. Okay. Uh, trust it because yeah there is something here it's a little bit of a be careful what you wish for but I feel like you could be getting a wish granted um, somebody may be reaching out or maybe you're thinking of reaching out to someone uh, but it's also about observing your feelings make sure you do okay there's something here your intuition may be telling you someone who's not going to they're going to offer one little sippy cup uh, they're going to keep something to themselves a secret so like I said it's that be careful what you wish for <laughs> We've got the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. It's kind of one step forward here. Tell me about this conf confrontation or confront. Yeah, so there's some kind of burden, something here about someone being responsible, reliable. It's a burden being lifted. It's about confronting a situation. Someone feels they have this weight on their shoulders. Maybe they work a lot. They have a lot of responsibilities. Uh, but it definitely feels like a burden that needs to be confronted. And it more than likely is some shadow work here. Someone needing to face their fears. Tell me about the find the balance. Yeah, so there's something manifesting here. I see a Gemini, a Virgo energy, which is yourself, Mercury energy. It's about manifesting what you want through balance. Finding the balance within yourself. Having all the tools you need uh, to manifest what you want so it says if you purge and release 
something here about something not working. It is a lot of work to heal, to release something, okay, to, for things to move forward. So that's what I feel is happening as you're manifesting something. Now it could be to do with work, your love life. Uh, just take, like I say, take it as it resonates. But this is having the tools you need to manifest what you want, to find that balance. be a little careful there may have been some kind of confusion maybe you feel somebody was manipulating you okay because there was confusion they weren't making a choice uh, they may have been keeping secrets or you felt that way because they weren't reaching out like you reach out then they reject that kind of energy wow share the love let's see where this is going so i feel like there is this energy of trusting your intuition and uh, so I feel like you may just offer one cup to someone. Maybe not anymore. You want to make sure they value you, uh, that they have respect for you, because there's definitely something to do with morals and respect here. Someone may have felt kind of disrespected. Tell me about share the love. Why is this here? Why is this here? Yeah. So we definitely have two people here. Yeah, it's about sharing the love, a soulmate connection. Uh, there's some kind of unrequited love, I feel. Someone hasn't shared their feelings and emotions. And someone's a little apprehensive because they're not sure. Maybe there's a third party or maybe they're not sure that uh, you're compatible or you're on the same page. This is about uh, two people's, it's about faith tradition habit behavior the way you conduct your life your habits whether you're on the same page whether you're compatible okay someone may not have faith in this situation so it's a be careful what they wish for but there's definitely a secret of some kind so there's something being held back some unrequited love uh, i feel cancer pisces scorpio definitely a pisces energy uh, but there is a connection there's two people here okay Two people who haven't reciprocated and shared their feelings. So there's a lot of confusion. So we have observed. So this is about, you know, trusting your feelings, your emotions, how you feel about a situation. Uh, and it could be the other person as well, because I see two. Some of you have to make a choice. Maybe be friends first, see how things go. See if you're compatible. Somebody is hoping to have their wish granted. Maybe somebody didn't, okay? But I feel like it's very possible. I just feel, yeah, there's something to do with the past, uh, children, some kind of history, sweet memories, missing each other. And it's sort of an energy of just maybe be friends first, just sort of keeping things simple. Uh, but like I said, just watch you're not being manipulated. Watch if somebody doesn't want to come back around and they actually have other people they're involved with. Okay, but I do see some kind of happy news, something coming in that's positive. But if somebody is a little skeptical here, okay, yeah. So we have this justice and balance here, making sure someone is just right. It's how you feel. How do you feel? Okay, is this the right person for you? But this is to do with commitment and marriage. So there's some kind of justice here, something to do with the past, but it's about keeping things simple. But really watch that. Like I said, there's a, a little bit of a manipulative energy where someone may want to just be friends. Uh, they may actually be manipulating the situation because I do, like I said, watch out. It's not a friends with benefits kind of energy. Something you may not be comfortable with here. You're looking at the details. There may have been... May have been something said, it could have been on social media, someone may, you know, I do see that energy of the world, social media, the community. I also see online dating, things like that. There's something in the details of a communication where somebody kind of felt they weren't being respected. There was something there that made someone make a decision to reject something. Uh, it has to do with friends somebody may have had other friends or said oh this person's just a friend whatever it is it was in a communication that's where i feel something went wrong where you may have changed your mind or you became unsure be careful what you wish for energy it was sort of like you wanted your wish granted you wanted something and it didn't happen okay tell me about justice 
Oops, there we go. Justice, yeah. So there is definitely a need for strength and confidence. Um, someone wasn't sure someone was the right person. Someone definitely um, needed, needs to gain their strength and confidence and be brave. Someone lacked the uh, confidence to reach out, to share their feelings. Maybe because they were rejected before rejected in the past for reaching out so there could be some baggage there that someone's holding on to it really could be just that but i feel there's a need to just be a little bit cautious that of uh, somebody who's manipulating okay that manifesting there's also a mirroring energy you both you and this person could kind of feel the same there's something that you both may feel the same about you both may feel rejected <laughs> okay um, yeah you both may be uh you both may feel the other person is manipulative, but just watch that energy. You'll know. You'll know, Virgo. So let me grab these outcome cards and see where this is headed. So where is this headed? What is going to happen here? Feel like somebody is going to reach out, but I feel like you need to be careful of the secrets. Someone has a secret, okay? They're keeping something to themselves, and maybe you know what their secret is. Uh, maybe this person is you know, telling you to be very wise, okay? Uh, keeping something to yourself maybe you're keeping something to yourself because you're cautious about getting what you want whether someone is the right type whether they you know fit into your your family your traditions you know this is about family traditions the way people are raised it's your habits the way you live your life it's about compatibility so there's definitely something here you may be keeping to yourself because you're careful okay a little careful what you wish for but there's a wish, somebody wants their wish granted, but they're keeping something to themselves. So that's what the problem is here. Uh, it's creating confusion. So let's see what's going on, Virgo. Yeah, so there is definitely this rebuilding, rebuilding the heart chakra. It's kind of an energy here I see, kind of starting from scratch, looking at the possibility Feeling a little enthusiastic about a situation where someone needs to rebuild. Someone needs to learn to love themselves first. And I feel there's someone here who needs to find that balance within themselves. They need to heal, become balanced before they're ready for this fresh new start. So this could be yourself kind of looking at that or it's this person. I definitely feel you both have uh, this slower moving energy. But I feel there's something here. It's going to take a lot of strength and confidence to rebuild a situation. So this is to do with someone's heart chakra, the balance within. It's about keeping things simple. It's simply love, okay? So this could be somebody who has children. Maybe you're not sure, okay? Someone may not feel that you're compatible or you, you know, they lack a faith because there's children involved for some of you. But I do see this reminiscing, two people reminiscing. Um, to do with something about a reaching out a communication so there is this simply love so it's kind of keeping things simple but i like i say just be a little cautious uh, there's something in there a communication to do with all of this and i think you'll know what this is when you uh, sort of think about it here yeah so it's about spreading your wings reaching out being open to the possibilities okay there's two people here it takes two all right, to be open, to look at the future, to see the light, to move towards this new beginning. Some of you are letting go of somebody. You may be making that decision. Uh, you're looking at the possibilities and the options. You may have other people that you're considering, but you, you could be, you know, looking at something from the past that you need to release or the other person. So I do feel there is this two people coming together, uh, keeping it kind of simple, maybe being friends first. Uh, but I feel I feel there's more to it. Okay, that's where I feel the heart of the reading. The center is somebody is not so sure. They're careful what they wish for. Someone offers one cup and nothing more, and I feel someone missed an opportunity because they procrastinated. Um, they were, you know, they had too many options. There was some kind of confusion about who was compatible, who wasn't. Hard to say. Yeah, so there, you know, I can read this card. It's, it's, you know, wishes coming true, your dreams becoming a reality, a magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. Someone's not so sure, okay? There was a possibly someone was hoping to have some kind of wish fulfillment and then there was a rejection. So, yeah, it's sort of a helpless and hopeless or some kind of regret. I feel there was a, a missed opportunity 
because somebody was failing to see the two cups. So I see this. There is something that's been repeated too. There's actually a lot of abundance here. Somebody didn't see what they had. Well, they weren't seeing something here. Possibly because of some baggage. So this is about giving, receiving, two people re reciprocating. Maybe neither one of you really knows how the other person feels. Somebody doesn't want to give to this anymore. They're thinking of just letting go. Yeah, this is about a waiting result. Somebody was waiting, uh, literally to the point where they were waiting and growing roots. <laughs> it's the root of the problem, okay? It's the root. It's the baggage. It's the things that need to be let go. Could be habits, traditions, uh, the way somebody was raised, okay, through traditions. It's time to let go. Someone's growing roots. Somebody has some things to figure out, but there was definitely a procrastinating. Somebody definitely grew those roots, but it's the root of the problem. That's what I feel needs to be confronted here. So it does take two. You see, dedicated effort. It takes two for the energy to keep flowing. Uh, so this is a beautiful energy. It's about creating something new. So this is about reaching out. See, the answers that you... This is an energy of being open, okay? It's about reaching out, seeking answers, looking for clarification, uh, trying to figure something out here, but being very confused. You will get the answers that you seek, but you need to purge and release something, or this person does. So, uh, and more than likely, because it's in the middle, you both probably do. You know, there. It's about respect and two people valuing each other, uh, respecting each other, holding each other in high regard. Two people have to, it takes two, okay? So interesting energy. So I feel like you are uh, thinking of reaching out, seeking some kind of answers or this person is, but they need to go within is what I feel. One more card, Virgo. There we go, yeah. So someone was unable to make a decision. Again, that's another card telling me procrastination. Somebody was indecisive, unable to make a decision. There's something they weren't seeing. Okay, yeah. I was looking for clarity, looking for answers, shining a light. Uh, somebody wasn't telling the truth, or they could have been somebody out and out lying. It's hard to say. But it's someone who's looking for clarity, shining a light on a situation. I see Aquarius, Gemini energy, Libra. There's some butterflies here. This is what's going to, when you go within, this is logical perspective insight. It's about going uh, in and uh, looking within as well because we also have the, did we have the hermit card? No, I thought we did. Okay, so I feel as though this is someone who's looking for answers, looking for some kind of clarity to do with communication. But there's the butterflies. This is where the, the transformation starts. So there's definitely a transformation energy to do with safety, security, stability. Okay, it's a foundation. It's when two people, it takes two to build uh, a legacy, two people coming together to look out for each other's interest by respecting each other and building each other up. So this is your message for today. This is the energy around you. Take it as it resonates. It could be friends, family, uh, a creative pursuit where you're looking for answers to do with something financial as well, to do with something you're creating, maybe with another person. Maybe you feel they're a little detached. Maybe you feel that you're putting more money into it than they are because we have that reciprocity, right? Where somebody's putting more into it than the other person. So just watch that energy. But I feel like you have all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want. In fact, I feel both of you uh, are manifestors. Very nice. So there you are. <laughs> this could be you thinking or another person. I see a Gemini possibly, uh, Libra, Aquarius energy, someone who's thinking. See, somebody's strategizing and thinking, but they're up in their head procrastinating. Uh, somebody is waiting. They're growing roots, but it's the root of the problem is the baggage. So take care. Get out of your head, okay? It's time to gain that clarity. If this is yourself being in your head, it's time to heal and clear out negative baggage, negative stuff to be able to move forward. So take care and we will see you soon.